Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. South African police attack IPOP members protesting against Buhari. Officers of the South African police on Thursday attacked members of the indigenous people of Biafra who were protesting against President Mohamed Buhari who is currently on a three-day official visit to South Africa. The IPOP members were protesting against the leadership style of President Buhari, whom they accused of ordering the killing of their unarmed members in Nigeria. The South African police officials took violent moves to quell the protesters to forestall breakdown of law and order. Reacting to the development, IPOP media and Publicity Secretary Mr. Ima Powerful in a statement on Thursday condemned the action of the South African police. Mr. Powerful described the attack of IPOP members by South African police as barbaric and disgraceful. He said, the act was an indication that state sanctioned politics of savagery has taken firm hold in Cyril Ramaphosa's South Africa. The IPOP spokesman linked the attack to President Buhari, who he said influenced Ramaphosa to order his police to open fire on peaceful Biafran protesters. The crass display of primitive police brutality and anti-democratic antecedents of the South African police is confirmation, if any is needed, that black Africa is hopeless and doomed, he said. Meanwhile, IPOP leader Mazin Namdekano has also com condemned the action of South African police. Taken to his Twitter handle, he asserted that he will provide an in-depth examination and analysis of the unfolding events in South Africa in a broadcast later in the day. He said, there is a need to examine the unfolding events in South Africa and the conspiracy, of s and the conspiracy to silence a protest on the identity of Jibril al Sudani in return for subsidized crude oil from Biafra land. He said that he will hold an emergency broadcast on Radio Biafra platforms today, time 7 pm Biafra time, he said. All right, viewers and listeners, you've heard the news story. Uh, it's surprising that um, uh, uh, people, the Igbos, are being attacked. Well, they came out to protest against Buhari. Uh, it has been the trend for some time now that um, the people of the Igbo origin who are based in abroad to pro to come out to protest against um, Nigerian leaders in the quest to um, achieve the Biafran uh, hope and to prove that uh, they have been marginalized and uh, injustice is being meted to them and. Uh, this visit of President Muhammad Buhari in South Africa was also another opportunity for them to come out to protest and uh, we heard that uh, they were being attacked and arrested, fired at by the South African police, which this should not be. Freedom to protest is a right of every citizen in every nation all over the world. So I see no reason why people should be attacked for protesting. Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this particular news story and um, what your thoughts are. Can you drop by the comment section and let's know your thoughts. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.